This is a Wolfram Alpha demonstration. You can find the demonstration at demonstrations.wolfram.com and the title of it is Interior Angles of a Triangle. So if you search for that, you'll find the demonstration. The interior angles of a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. And we can see this here quite simply because we have one angle that's 90 and two that are 45. 45 and 45 add up, of course, to 90. And here we have a 90 degree angle, which is, of course, a right angle. And here we have the second 90 degree angle, which is also a right angle. And the two 90 degree angles next to each other, of course, add up to 180 degrees, giving us here a straight line. Remember that we have an imaginary circle around this, and the total number of degrees in this imaginary circle is 360, and half of them, this line is going down the middle of the imaginary circle, so it is the diameter of the circle, is 180 degrees. It's a 180 degree line, a straight line. If we change the triangle, you'll see that this remains true. Here we have 61, 52, and 66. You can add them all up, and you'll find out that it still adds up to 180 degrees. In other words, the angles of a triangle will only ever fill up half of your imaginary circle. And two triangles will fill up an entire circle, the number of degrees in two triangles added together. So if we keep moving this around, you'll see that this remains true no matter what you do to this triangle. Right, you can do anything you like to it. Right? You can make it do anything we want and the number of degrees will still remain 180. Right? We can flip it round, backwards, sideways, forwards. Of course, if we do that, we don't have a triangle anymore. We have a straight line. And we can do anything we want to it, and the number of degrees in this triangle stays 180. We can give it more decimal points, and it will still remain the same. Okay? It makes no difference how many decimal points we put. Right? We can increase the number of decimal points to an absurd level, something you'll never find in your maths book, and you'll see that it remains true, that the um, sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees, and so a triangle, the number of degrees in a triangle, is the same number as in half of a circle. There's the center of the circle. Here's the imaginary circle going around, and this triangle here is um, half of the circle. Here's the diameter of our imaginary circle, okay. and the number of degrees adds up to 180, giving us a straight line.